This week's safety toolbox talk is on a discussion that I had recently with the owner of Berglund Construction Company, Fred Berglund. And it's about this year's near misses that could have resulted in a SIF, a serious injury and or a fatality. Electrical hazards. How much do you know? The hazard is not knowing about electrical hazards. Think about your electrical hazards today on your job sites. You're working with tools that have cords on them. Are you inspecting that tool before each use? Does it have a ground prong? Are you using a GFCI? Do you have a crane on your job site today? We all know the OSHA standard for cranes, right? We need to be 20 feet away from overhead power lines. And if it's over 350 kV, we might have to be further than 20 feet. Overhead power lines are a killer, especially with cranes. If we're in a boom lift, a scissors lift, we need to be 10 feet away from overhead power lines. So Fred Berglund and I were talking this morning about 2018, 17, 16, and 15. In reviewing our near miss, serious injury and fatality databases, we've realized in the last four seasons, we have had four electrical hazards that could have resulted in a death. Our most recent was a subcontractor went to close a panel up in a particular mechanical room on one of our projects and ended up getting caught up on that electrical current. He briefly was unresponsive once we got him off that panel. EMS was called in. They hit him with the AED and that gentleman, that tradesman, is alive and well. A few years back on another project, we had another subcontractor working on a live open panel. He had all of his personal protective equipment aside him and made the wrong decision reached into that panel and it arc flashed in his face, third degree burns on his face and both hands. There's a lot of electrical hazards out there with the tools we use, with the equipment we use, with overhead power lines, with underground utilities. We had a near miss two years ago where gentlemen were pounding stakes in the ground, framing concrete and the ground was so hard they decided to use drills to pre-drill the hole for the stake and they were drilling into a live open duck bank. It wasn't open, it was in piping, but they drilled into that piping. They were drilling into, and of course, it hit the drill bit, energized the drill, burned the drill, burned the bit. The individual was shocked. We sent him in for observation. This week on our projects, let's talk about what you know about electricity. What does OSHA require? Lockout, tagout, right? Covering all panels, de-energizing the systems, covering overhead power lines or relocating them or de-energizing them. There's plenty of federal codes written. There's plenty of policies in place that we should know about the electrical hazards associated with the work on our projects. So this week, let's cover that and let's have a safe week. Thank you.